Hey guys, what's happening? Birdman316 here. I'm showing you this new kit. Of course, everyone has seen this radio all over YouTube. Of course, these aren't the stock sticks. You know me, I can't leave anything alone. But this kit, this is a Moby 6. That's the Jumper T Light. Now the kit comes with four of these batteries like this. These 300 milliamp. Happy model brand, but I'm pretty sure they're GNB or something like that. Maybe Tattoo, I'm not positive. And it also comes with uh, an extra set of props. And this is the kit that I recently got. Let me show you guys something. I'm going to put it right here. This is the Moby 6 that I already has, the 19,000 kV motor version. The funny thing is, this one right here is bounded to another jumper radio, which is the, uh, what is that, the T8SG, the Radio Master version. Now, the weird thing is, this one right here and this one right here has the very same PIDs, the very same rates, everything's identical. But yet, yeah, this one right here, it, uh, it not really, really snappy. So I'm guessing something with the radio. I'm not really sure if you can adjust anything in the radio or not, but I'm not, not really going to be worried too much about it. But, um, heck, I might just bump these numbers up just a little more and see if I can get just a little more out of it as far as being snappy because you don't want to do no front flip with, through a gap with it not really being real snappy and stuff. You don't want to hit the ground and have to take a walk later. Now I'm not sure if any of the other guys have covered this in their reviews but I think there might be a range alarm on this radio because I was over at the garden flying well you'll see it come up in one of my videos it's a gorgeous place it's it's like a lot and it's got trees and fly it's, it's, that's why I call it the garden it's really really nice there and I flew there yesterday with that one and I also flew with my custom build called I call it my poke 65 but anyway when I got out just a little bit I wasn't out too far but I noticed there's a vibrating device inside this radio and I felt it vibrating and vibrate a couple times and it heard some beeps I thought man this battery must be low there's your display right there but the battery was was still registered 4.1 4.2 this thing runs on a uh, single 18650 in case you didn't know I'm, I'm pretty sure you know there's like a thousand reviews on this radio but anyway I think it has some sort of a range alarm I didn't keep pushing it because uh, old Birdman don't want to be taking no unnecessary walks by doing stupid stuff. You know what I mean? But I brought it back towards myself and the beeping and the vibrating little buzzer thing stopped. And the same thing happened this morning when I was out flying at Willow Creek uh, behind my apartment. I got out just a little bit and I heard the beeps and I felt the vibrating in the transmitter so I thought well I must have some kind of alarm in here I checked the battery and 4.1 4.2 on the voltage so I'm guessing this radio here is a close proximity radio it wouldn't be really recommended to push them out like you can with the other jumpers that runs on the 2s batteries so just to let you guys know that this radio will be better suited for close proximity and stuff like that and also you can it's got the, the multi-protocol the jp4 and one or something like that but I also have the buying protocol set up on another bird well, i can run all my buying protocol birds on this like my silverware uh, whoops and silverware acro uh, early silverware you know silverware like but enough of my jabber jaw. I'm sure you guys will say, well, let's have a video of this thing. All right, where can you see it fly? But not a problem. I'll put a video of the fly of one of the flights at the end of this one. So that way you'll have something to look forward to. Will you guys take it easy? 
This is Birdman316. I hope everyone has a wonderful day, wonderful night, wherever you are. Sayonara. Oh, my God.